Courtney, if you don't follow her, you need to follow her. She's our good friend. And man, we are learning a lot today in the kitchen. Fun. This is super fun for us. So when we asked Courtney, what would you want to learn from us? She wanted to make our artisan beer bread. Yeah. And take a look at this because it's amazing. amazing. You guys, amazing. I love bread so much and I never make it. And then I've had your bread and it's like life changing. And all I want to do is drink this very you do. butter. <laughs> you do. Buy the spoonful. You do. Because this is um, raspberry butter and this is strawberry butter. And it's incredible. Um, and I'll tell you about it. But mom, talk about it really Yes. Fast. Well, first of all, I want to ask Courtney a couple of questions because <laughs> maybe our viewers don't know yes, her. Yes. Um, tell us a little bit about Sorry. who you are and how you got started, Courtney. Um, I am just a self-taught baker that started baking cakes because they tasted so yummy. And I kind of just got this little passion for it. For cakes. And for cakes nine years ago. And so just started fun. teaching myself how to make cakes from scratch because they really do taste so much more amazing than anything store bought or from a box. Um, and that, that foodie inside of me just really enjoy the baking process and teaching myself what works and what doesn't work and how to make my own recipes. And so three years ago, I started a cake by Courtney. Actually, I think today might even be my anniversary. Oh, my goodness, happy, happy anniversary. Oh, What's our anniversary? Eight months. I think we're on eight months. <laughs> no, so, uh, It's okay. 
pressed, and I've done it with water, and I've done it with beer, and the beer one is always better. Yeah, yeah, yeah it, it is. is. It's better. I'm telling yeah. you. We don't tell you. We don't. By the way, you. we're in Courtney's kitchen. Yeah, isn't she fabulous? Yes. Yes. To her home. Look how fabulous her kitchen is. is. It's dreamy. It's dreamy. I guess we're gonna have to come do a decor like here. <laughs> yeah, we bring this right here. Yes, we're gonna have to come to our house. Okay, I've got the bread. I've marked the page, so I never. I'm not gonna do any of that. This is my bread. Okay. Okay, so what's so easy? Oh, what? Go ahead. No, go ahead. I this Lizzie has become a master at these breads. Yes, you have. You have. You are amazing. She is young, and she is just doing them all to perfection. Look, it's still warm. I've been baking all night. Amazing. <laughs> okay. Amazing. Okay. Yes. 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 Okay, so let, let's yes. just tell you quick, okay? The, in a lot of our bread recipes, we talk about how you need to slowly add your flour because different flour, different weather, things like that. But in this artisan bread, you're not going to um, do that. You're adding exactly what it calls for. So this is so simple and okay. easy. Okay. Now this is with our white Camus because it's all we use and it's Tell making it even better. Tell people about Camus because I didn't know about Camus until you guys. Why do you like Camus flour? It's an ancient grain that I started working with. Um, you know, like you've been perfecting your cakes. So I've been perfecting um, my, uh, well, the, the flour, <laughs> the thing, my the staff of life. Actually, yeah, yeah. the staff of life, and I've been working with spelt. I've been working with einkorn. Sure, the, close some enough. ancient grains, not just whole wheat, not just your um, Montana red hard whole wheat. Yeah. I wanted to delve into the ancient grains, and so I was. I was working with all of them, and once I started working with Kamut, that was it for me. Okay, I'm not going to try it. Was over. Taste it. Oh, it's taste incredible. It now. Yeah, but I love it in your bread because I've had pieces of bread. The oh, thing right. about it is. It, you just feel different, and I will tell you this: if you quit using the Camus, everybody that's like, I then go back. They're they're like, that? they're like, no. If you if you quit I using think. the Camus, and you go you'll back. go back. You'll then you know, well, no, no, no. You no, gotta I, get some of that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but yeah. honestly, it's like you'll notice it after. Then you go back to all purpose, and we. We are all about, you know, portion control and having food within portion and eating healthy, but we're not health nuts. And I this Kamut is incredible. Mm -hmm. It really does change it and it's so much better. Kamut is good is really good on protein. Mm -hmm. It helps cholesterol. It helps digest you, it better too, right? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. the protein. Yes, yeah. the top three are the digestibility, the texture, and the taste. That's why we're using it. Texture, taste first. Digestibility and texture. And guess Amazing. what? Our bags so are like a week yes. out. Yeah. Wait till you see our bags. They're super cute. Our five pound bags. Yeah, our five pound bags. Yes. I'm getting it. I'm going to try it. But mm -hmm. Yeah, and you guess what? If you actually buy gold, if you buy two five pound bags, which, anyways, we have a deal on that. Okay. 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 You have a deal? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at the deal. <laughs> Insider deal. Okay. Right. So, literally, you guys, this is one, this is three and one fourth cup of Kamut. You're just dumping it in a bowl. We have our French salt, of course, mm -hmm. that's going in the bowl. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 It's you the best. It. It's the best, honey. Mm -hmm. The best. I might like, tell. The best to be. Okay, now you're adding yeast. You're not doing the yeast with the water like right. I tell you. Really? You're just dumping no. it in. You're just what? dumping it in. Yes. We can it together. Okay, then you're adding three fourths cup warm water. And then we're adding three fourths cup beer. This is it. Wait, every bread I've ever made, you have to let I know. the um, not this one. The yeast and the water sit together. Not yeah, this one. Not either. this one. Not and this not one. in our other artisan bread either. We have a couple that you just mix it all together. It makes um, it comes out with a dough that is it's incredible as you work with it. It's oh my just goodness. Oh my goodness. This is an arm workout too. Okay, yeah. it's gonna come together. I'm like, hopefully I added enough water and everything. The only work. thing we need to add a little No, more. no, it's gonna be okay. perfect. Okay, it's, it's gonna, gonna be, come together. How do you know? How do you know? Okay, that's what she needs to do. Okay, honestly, the, the the reason you know is because it's it's starting to come away from the bowl exactly. and you'll know that it's gonna come together and it's fine. It's not Can I feel it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's gonna come together. Okay, it's not sticky. No, it's not really sticky. Not my hand. I mean, it's a little sticky, yeah, but no, but not like super sticky. Yeah, either. not super sticky. Okay. And don't add more liquid. The only thing you have to be careful is the white kamut is a little more dense, 
And so you have to go a little shy of a cup. Like you've got to just go like a hair bit. Yeah. So I maybe did a I little guess. more, but no, no it's, it's perfect. perfect. It's perfect. Okay, so all you're gonna do is just make it come together in your bowl like this. We're not even and gonna you're pushing. You're needing like every well, time you're just for right now. Yeah. <laughs> yes, but then I copy you. Yes, 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 yes. And I'm literally now. I'm not gonna take it out on the counter. None of that. I'm going to keep it in the bowl. And I'm gonna take our plastic wrap. That's my like favorite plastic wrap. Us no. too. Oh my gosh, the Costco plastic wrap, you guys, in the Costco yep. wrap. It's fabulous. It's the best. It's, it's, the the best. Best. it's really the best. Okay, so I'm just gonna oh, sorry. 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 I'm gonna take this and I, I just think this is the easiest way. And I'm gonna spray oh. it. And then I'm gonna flip it over. What is this doing? Wow, she's smart. And this this is because it's gonna start rising oh. that it can stick. And it, oh, yeah, okay. it, it could stick. But I wanted to say something about this dough. It's kind of a shaggy. It's the word is shaggy. Yeah. It's kind of a shaggier dough. It's not the absolute smooth no, it's um, not. dough that we make in many of our breads. Yeah. It's kind of a shaggy dough, so it's okay. Well, when you said that the Camino can be a little bit denser, you guys, it is a little more denser. Dense. All. No, it's not. When no, you bake it, yeah. Fire. Yeah. Okay, so now you're going to let this sit. The longer it sits, the better. Okay. It can go for eight to 18 hours. So I'll, if I know. Do you want at least eight hours? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And I think it's right best. Ahead. Do it like, right like if you go to bed at night, I just whip it up if I know I'm going to have it the next oh, morning. Okay. And I leave it out on the counter. Sorry. <laughs> and then, yeah, perfect. And the great thing is, is if you forget, when you get up, just mix it up. Yeah, just, just mix it up. Later. Yeah, you'll have it for that night. Yeah, okay, so good. we like to make it rise in somewhere warm. If your counter is kind of cold, I just like to make it rise somewhere warm. So okay, that kitchen feels more green. No, it does. It, it feels, feels good. Really and so that's yeah. where Courtney to make in a few hours. Oh, I'm so so okay. we're gonna now fast forward to some that has been rising. So, so let me show you. Look it's going to be happen. sticky. It's going to become sticky after so long, okay? So now we're just gonna take a little bit of our flour out on the counter okay. like this. And then you're just gonna gather it all together. See how it's kind of sticky now? Yeah. It's totally different. This has been sitting, I mean, rising for like probably like 10 hours. Texture. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's really sticky stickier. now. So you did this before you went to bed? Yeah, before last I went night. to bed. Okay. okay. And we're like at 145, so we have plenty of okay. time. Okay, so all you're doing at this point is you're kneading. You're kneading it a few times. Just, just, just a couple of times. To get the air out. Just, okay. just a little bit. Get the air bubbles out. Get it not as sticky, but see how fast it becomes yeah. not sticky. Should I count it? That was like what ten? Well, yeah, that's something. Yeah. I'm like, I maybe just, the first. I'm two. like, maybe I'm doing too many. But you just do it until okay. it's nice and it's really and it's smooth. not sticky. Yeah, get the bubbles out. It's fabulous. Yeah, we do that with um, buttercream. Yes. yes. Get those bubbles out. You know? hey, and yeah. I mean, our workout. I mean, this is like <laughs> don't go to the gym. I say yeah. make bread. Okay. <laughs> so make <now, laughs> bread. Yeah. That's, my that's your workout. Yeah. Okay, so now at this point, you want your, well, I'll tell you just one second. Okay, so I'm going to take this right here. Then you're going to put this down and you're going to spray this again, okay? And then you're just going to sprinkle the flour just kind of over it. And then you're putting the bread on top. And then you're going to put about a tablespoon of flour on top. That's what gives it the... Flour oh, and hard to in pressing yeah. yeah, do you see how brown that is? Yeah. With a little bit of the flour, I feel like I'm in San Francisco. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we're so in France. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so yeah. now you're just going to wrap this. Yeah. And once again, you want it somewhere warm. Okay. So I would put it on the breadboard. And then I put a towel on top of it, oh, too, okay. wherever okay. my towels are. So you so let it sit like this. Yeah, so you let it sit like this. Now, I, you can make this on a pizza stone if you want. Okay. But I was telling Courtney, you, you've got to invest in I have one of these. You, have, you have to. You have to. We use these for everything. Okay. Everything. Soups, everything. Yeah. I don't know a day I don't use it. And they're so cute just on our oh, stove. Yeah, it's yeah. kitchen art. Yeah. 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 Yes. I love kitchen art. Yes. You know, Courtney yeah. has all of her bread. Oh, oh yeah. She's got her bread boards out. You're you're on par. Okay. Another thing that we love is stop. Yeah, we like we like Blake Crusade and we like stop. And I don't know why I'm obsessed with the stop now. And you can get them on sales all the time. Yeah. All the time. There's deals all the time. Okay. So for 30 minutes, your pot has to be getting hot. Okay. In the oven. Yes. Okay. Kind of like how you preheat the pizza yes. stone. Uh huh. This has got to be in the oven at 450. 
getting hot, so you're letting this rise for 30 minutes while this is um, heating up for 30 minutes. Keep going, keep going. Okay? So then after your pizza, I mean the pot is hot, then you just kind of take it out. If we said you want to show it like this, I'll show you. So this is, but you, you pull the oven rack out. You pull the oven rack out, this is how you would. And literally, the, the reason this is so easy too, is you're holding it like this and then I would plop it in. But I'm gonna let it rise, or should I just show it? Just show it. I didn't even clean this out. No, that's okay. Okay, so you're just gonna take it like this and you're gonna plop it. Exactly just like, like that. And then you're gonna bake it half with half of the time with the lid on and half with off. Exactly. And that is it. And look at what you are ending showing up and ending up with for your family. This is not a joke. And then it's like the raspberry and strawberry butter. Oh my, mom, you wanna bite? Sure. The raspberry and strawberry butter are with the recipe underneath. Um, we show exactly how to make it. Super easy. They're both delicious. This is raspberry. Mm -hmm. Are there any questions, Lisa? Lizzie, what is the pot called? Make her say. Make her say. Lizzie, this is just as good as any bread I've ever had. Mm -hmm. Ever. It's, it's impressive. amazing. It's impressive. And you can make it that simple. You can do it. That's as simple as can be. I mean, how do you find a more simple? We know many artisan breads that have to rise for days, many different kneading processes. It's like, no, this is the one to do. This is the one to do. And Lizzie's been doing it for a long time, yeah. years. She's, it's not like she's perfected it because you can get the same results first time. Yeah, first time. Is there anything else? Can you use a mixer or do you have to mix it by hand? No, I wouldn't. We don't suggest a mixer. Um, it's that easy to just do it by hand. You saw how just honestly, I don't know why, but most of the time we're mixing everything by hand with our breads. Unless it's our Italian bread that's making so much dough, it's just easier to do by hand. It's, 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 it's better. It's easier cleanup. Really? Yeah. It's easier cleanup. And the great thing is, is you can learn how to make bread by hand and you don't, it, what if your electricity went out? Or something like that. Well, my mom always says that everybody doesn't have the fancy um, tools all the time. And so when I was in college or when I was broke, first married, I didn't have any of these things. And so that's what's nice about it too. Is it's like, okay, I can know I can just whip it up by hand. You yeah. don't so need that. Right, exactly. You don't need the fancy pot to make this bread. All you need to do is put it on a pizza stone. If you didn't even have a pizza stone, you could literally set it like in a um, a black. Um, I can't think of the word. Like a cast iron pan. That's it. I would not do a cookie sheet. We get asked that a lot. I would not do a cookie sheet. sheet. No, it but doesn't. The, but the cast iron, you can do a baking sheet if, if that's all you have. Yeah. It will work. Yeah. Okay. Can um, you guys talk about butter yet? Cast iron. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. So how simple this is is just. You can either use homemade jams if you want, but if you don't, I didn't have homemade right now. Oh, so this is just raspberry butter, I mean jam, sorry. Raspberry jam, butter, honey, and some vanilla in mm -hmm. this one. What kind of butter? Um, we only use Land of Lakes. Okay. That's no. our salted favorite. Salted or unsalted? Salted. Okay. Salted. Well, unsalted in certain recipes. Yes, yes. It, it will say uh, unsalted if it tells you. But yeah, I love the raspberry one. I think that's my favorite because there's so much there's, there's so, so much, much flavor. Kind of, yeah, and a little honey you said? Yeah, mm -hmm. and that's honey, it, right? Yeah, these tell you right at the bottom of the recipe. And then this one is just try the strawberry, strawberry butter. Try the strawberry with butter. With a little powdered sugar and um mm -hmm. yeah. it's a little bit different. But they're both, both fabulous. delicious. You guys both are delicious. I feel like you can't, since I've had your butter, I can't have bread any other way. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I just want to lather on everything. Oh, it's so I good. Know Okay. Well, I had it too. Okay, what else? Okay. Only for eating on well, too. And then what cookbook is this in again? One more this time. This is in the second cookbook. The second cookbook on food page. Man, um, this, let's see. The Food Man and Besties Dinner again. Okay. The second book. And it's on 247. Um, yeah, and if you don't have the cookbooks, it's a better deal if you buy both of them on our website, thefoodnanny.com. You can get both for $39, but each is $24. Oh, that's a good deal. Yeah. I can't stop, you guys. It's forever. Oh, it's amazing. Okay. Uh, it's soft, huh? It's, it's amazing. I love crispy on the outside, mm. soft on the inside. Mm -hmm. It's really hard to achieve, especially in an everyday oven. 
And that's what I love. It doesn't matter what kind of oven you have. Mm -hmm. Inexpensive or expensive, you're going to get the same outcome. Well, I've been in many different homes. I've been in new rental, a new oven, everything. And look what just, yeah. Yeah. It doesn't yeah. matter. It seems foolproof. It seems foolproof. And you it love is. it. Full of it. Okay. Okay. So perfect. All right. So, so I guess we're going back together. to Courtney's and we'll just finish the cake and then we're done. So this has been a really this fun day. This has been so much fun. Thank you everybody for joining us. We're so happy to have been collaborating with Courtney. Thank you, Courtney. My pleasure. We're going to take off the okay. cake. Okay. We're going to take off the cake for and we're going to do the drip. <laughs> so we'll finish things up. But you got to head back to mine. We're really making it.